I, I just saw the Illini, and, uh, you know, they, they took care of FAU uh, in, in Madison Square Garden. And I was a little bit surprised, but here's what I'll say. Marcus Domask was unbelievable in that game. The Southern Illinois transfer had 33 points and was unstoppable. He's just kind of got, you know, that, that, I don't know if old man's game is the right way to describe him, but he's big, he's strong. He's not super athletic, but knows how to play, can back guys down, uh, take advantage of them in the post, can shoot it. Now, this was a career game for him, too. But Terrence Shannon and Marcus Domask, they both got really good positional size for wings. And, and that's where I think they can match up with Tennessee, a, a really good defensive team um, that, again, we know struggles to score. Um, a couple things here. Uh, the the Domas thing didn't surprise me at all because um, I, I actually, as you know, um, when I was talking to UW Green Bay, he's from um, he's from that part of Wisconsin. And um, when you're looking like who's going to be in the portal, and like that was the first name that came up, and it was Illinois and Iowa State was, or maybe you know go play professionally. And I was like, professionally, I got to see this kid. And he is that good. And he is that kind of perfect college player where he can play some four defensively and offensively, he's a really hard matchup. You and I discussed this. Most important position on the floor is that, that four spot. It gives them great versatility um, offensively and defensively, they're just good enough. And then when you put Hawkins, when he's playing well enough and you can put him at the five, now you spread out their offense and you have, you know, uh, Terrence Shannon's a big time scorer, also a fifth year guy, right? And you have Domask, who's a big time scorer and a fifth year guy. And then you have no post. That's why you play without Dane Danger. Then now you have no post in the lane, and there's so much space to operate, drive, and kick. And Brad's a really good coach. Um, I like this Illini team a lot better. I'm still cautious about not having enough guard play, but they, they navigate it by having so many hybrid forwards and guys that can handle and shoot, uh, which is a really interesting way. Now, the, the interesting part is, right, they're, mad, they're going to play Tennessee, and you got Dalton Connect, okay? Dalton Connect is, he's different than, than uh, Domask, but they're similar in that crazy skilled, older players, he's obviously a little bit more bouncy, but both aren't great at the defensive end, and that kind of X's each other out here. This is a big game for Tennessee, right? Because kind of late at egg at Carolina, right? They haven't looked great since the best they looked all year was when they beat Michigan State at Michigan State in that scrimmage. That's when they looked outstanding. So this is big, especially with a team who's coming in hot, um, who's coming with a lot of confidence and has a lot of offensive firepower, some that 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 usually spells doom for Tennessee. I like Tennessee because they're the home team in this one, but I'm I'm also well aware that this Tennessee team has yet to live up to what our expectations of what they look like on paper.